Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlitz and in this video we are talking about memes. Because if you play any kind of tabletop game, being them board games, war games or role playing games, uh, you are aware probably that miniatures exist. However, there are different types of memes with their particular pros and cons, uh, so let's get to them actually. The most known one is the 3D mini, what is called by some as regular or proper mini. Uh, they are minis much like this one or this one that uh, you can buy from plenty of different sources. You have big companies right, like Reaper, Mantic, Osprey Games and the like, and you have also some smaller companies like Fenris Games and Bad Squidu. They are minis that look better at the table, at least for most people. The con is that it mostly only happens when they are painted, because if they are like that, they usually do not look just as good, at least for most people. But if you want to have them painted, it can make the next con much worse because you have the option that of using them like that or you can paint them. And uh, if you are going to paint, you have to put your time on it or pay someone to do it. Because they are the most expensive kind of minis that I am presenting here. Because while a mini won't be less than one buck when buying in quantity, a singular and particular mini won't normally hit less than three bucks. Both these costs are much higher than the other options. So another option for minis is paper minis. And if you want some instructions and tips on how to build them, uh, you can check a previous video. It's probably my video that is most watched up until now. They're marvelously cost effective and they still look great at the table. It is true that they benefit from some designs that offer back views at least in my opinion, like the ones from Trash Mobs, Printable Heroes, or Cavs from uh, Dungeon Paper. Although not that detailed as the 3D minis, they still look, look pretty red. And they have a lot of options, like talking they are effective as heck in having details in a flat transport. Talking about this, them being much easier to carry, you can do it like me and put them in plastic sheets, much like this one, the one that you use for cards, and then you can carry them flat. But this is something that works best if you do uh, the kind of bases that I have, and I have a video about it and how to make them. I counsel you to use them. I think that they re look really good. You can even mix some of them with 3D minis in your table. And that's another thing that you can just Print them so no issue with shipping or anything like availability and much and most artists are available to commission or if you want something similar, if you want a, a particular mini. Building from it, we have one mini that can, that carries a bit of the adventures from both of them. That is the flat, the fat plastic one. So you have them flat minis, but they are printed in plastic. So you have the details from the paper and you offer some better durability. Uh, the, these ones are from Geek Tank Games. I believe there are other the op, that offer something similar, but while they they work great, the thing is that they will have less availability than the other ones. The con is that this kind of mini, it's the temp, it's dependent of the available ones that the company decided to put together. So depending where you live, it can also be not that cost effective either for shipping or because you have uh, conversion rates, exchange rates. So, however, they are still much cheaper than the 3D model ones. So to summarize, you have the 3D ones that ugly look better and can offer better detail. However, between the 3D ones, there are some discussion about plastic, resin, metal, etc. But this is for another point. You can use 3D printed ones, like really 3D printing, but this is another hobby in and on itself. And they are still more expensive and arguably you need to have some painted either by you or by someone else like uh, Michael Mordor for instance to benefit from the extra detail. Then you can have the paper ones that you can print wherever you are, are easy to carry and have a negligible cost against the 3D ones. Building them is not that hard following some restrictions as the ones that I linked. Unless you have the plastic flat ones that add durability to the paper ones but they are most more, a little bit more expensive than the other and they have limited in terms of designs available and where you can get them. So now we have the information you can do, uh, you can now make an informed guess and 
let me know what you, what is your preference, what you prefer about them. If I forgot something about any one of them, if you disagree, if you want some, if if you have some questions that you can that you want to post, so leave in the comments. This is the video. You know how internet works. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you all in the next one. So see ya.